stupid school is making us cut down trees. I know. The tree is like rubbish here. Maybe. We should do something. Yeah, I'm smart, you know. If I need to be. But you never need to be. We both know that. Yeah. But still, if my needle script north ever cross my path, I could super fight them in a second. You mean you'd run away? Crap. Any self respecting slither would just beat the butt, but you, you just run away. Hi, you. Maybe you're right. But still, I tie up a first year or two just for the fun of it. Hey, look, we come to Gryffindors now. Hi, I see. I got my wand out and ready. Go attack them. I got your hat. Oh. Watch me with my wand. Are you cursing at us? No, I'm just waving my wand. Are you sending a curse at me? Are you being right about that? No, don't be stupid. No, again, that's it. I'm just moving my wand. Got a problem? Can you start something, little girl? Start something. Me? I am far too small for that. <laughs> well, I wouldn't mind if you did. Slytherins are just as good as any other house. As if. Gryffindors will beat you any day. Say our house is better. Our house is better. You wish. You any day. It's the grown-ups! 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 Stop it, stop it, all of you, put down your wand. Crap, Goyle, what are you doing? How could you be so low to talk to this guy? Bon bon? This should be a nightmare for you. Please, please, I only try to keep the peace. What are you saying? I hate peace as much as I hate filthy mudbloods and Gryffindors alike. Imperio! How come Semper on? Spill your armies! What is all this racket, Granger? Where's my wand? Quick! You found you nothing like me. with a potion book, Professor, not a wand. No, I want my wand. Look at McGonagall and Flitwick. Snape, you insolent prick! Let me go! No, you can't go! <laughs> what is wrong with you all? You are enemies in the same school. I will not stand for this. Listen, you quarrel with common classmates. You students are barbaric trolls. This will not stand. You let out your anger with irrational fighting, without, with the absence of thinking. Severus Minerva, you have caused three fights with your ridiculous rivalry. Three times you have disturbed the peace of our school. Even the staff has been forced to join your fight. If you ever disturb the peace of our school again, I will terminate your employment at this school. Anyone else will pay for their act with detention. All of you, be gone. There is nothing to see. Severus, come with me. Minerva, come by later this afternoon to hear my opinion. All you others, leave before I expel you. Hello, Who started this fight? <laughs> Longbottom, what have you to say? Well, your students, Ron and Hermione, and the Southerns, they were fighting when I came along. I tried to stop the fight by casting a few spells, but then Malfo, that arrogant, hot-headed prick, came by. He only made the fighting worse by letting curses fly from his wand, even being rude to me. The duels kept escalating until Professor Dumbledore said to stop. Where's Mr. Potter? Have you seen him today? It's a good thing he wasn't at this brawl. Well, Professor, now we're so sunrise, I'll take a walk on the grounds before morning. And the forbidden forest. I saw your student here, and I tried to approach him, but as soon as he told me he ran off, I took that as a hint and left. Potter's been there many mornings, crying and sighing. But as sunrise begins, he sneaks back to the castle and locks himself in the boys' dormitory. He tries to isolate himself from everyone, locking the windows, shutting the blinds, drawing the curtains, and leaves himself in that ridiculous setup all day. No matter what, I have not been able to move him past this ridiculous phase, but some good advice may change his mind. Professor, do, do you know why Harry is acting like this? I do not. Potter refuses to tell me. If I may, how have you asked him, Professor? Through myself, other professors, and even other students. But he refuses to listen to anyone except himself. 
I don't know how true he is to himself, but he will never move on in this state. If only we could know what is causing him all this pain, then we could help him! Harry, here you are. I'll find another problem soon enough. Try, Longbottom Phileas, shall we go? Yes. Morning, Harry. Is it still early? It's only nine. Sorrowful hours seem so long. Was that the head of my house that was just leaving? Aye. Why do you have such sad long hours? Not having anything to make them pass by quickly. Are you in love? Out. Of love? Of her good looks, where I am in love with her. Well, that'd be love for you. Seemingly gentle, but so painful and rough in reality. Yes, love. Love that can't see clearly. Are we going to the Great Hall? Ah, what happened here? Wait, don't tell me. I've heard all about it. This fight came from hate, but even more so love. Why must love fight? Why does hate spring forth from love? Oh, wands of muggles, cold fire, poisonous remedies, healing toxins. This is not a dream. Are you laughing at me? Me, Harry? <laughs> I'd rather cry. At what? Your heart's pain. Well, that's love for you. My pain is heavy in my heart. This love has added too much grief for me. Love is simply a fume, lifted up by potions brewed. It sparkles with fiery love and turns to tears when irritated. Above all, love is a madman. Well, goodbye, Neville. Wait, Harry. It'd be cruel for me to leave you like this. I have lost myself in love. Harry is not here, but someplace else. At least tell me who you love. Well, I guess one must allow a dying man to write his will. It is sad, Neville, but I love a woman. I guess as much. An accurate guess. The woman I love is beautiful. The beautiful women are usually hit on first. Well, you're wrong there. She won't ever give in to love. She's sworn to never date. She won't ever be hit by love's arrow, ever respond to pickup lines or to my flirting or gifts. What a shame to have such beauty go to waste when she dies. She has sworn chastity forever? That's right. What a waste to cut such beauty off from her children. She's too beautiful and too wise to make me feel such sadness. Her refusal of love has made me not much else other than an inquiry, living dead. A tip. Don't think about her so much. But she's all that I think about. Teach me to think again. Let yourself be free. Look at another woman. No one could ever compare to her. She's exquisite. She's in my mind all the time. A blind man can never forget the treasure of sight. Show me someone pretty, but I could only think of my love. Goodbye. You can't teach me to forget her. I'll do my best to help, or die trying. <laughs>